Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, not really much going on lately, so I'm going to show you guys something from the past. Um, this kind of introduces who Katie and I are, um, where we come from, how our relationship was built, and where it went. This is an old video. I, I had Katie um, basically tell me some things about us um, at the beginning of our relationship. Uh, basically, to let you guys know what's happening in this video is I, Katie was about to go off to Miami for a job. Um, she was going to be working there all summer long. And uh, I was staying here in Tampa. So there was about a four hour difference there and I wasn't going to be seeing her as much as I, as I, uh, we were. You know, we were seeing each other every single day and she was pregnant, she was my girl. And, um, so near the end there, before she left, I had her shoot a, shoot some footage of her just telling me about, um, you know, what was going on and, and uh, when she ended up you know, telling me a lot about how she felt and a lot about the, the, you know, the past of events that had happened up until that point. So it kind of gives you guys a little idea about where we come from and, and uh, what we built, how we built our relationship and what that was built off of and, and uh, you know, why we're here today, why we're married and why we have a baby. So hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you think and uh, look forward to hearing your comments. I don't know. I just guess I want to let you know that I love you more than anything and I've never felt this way about anyone before. I feel like I'm talking to a camera which is kind of funny. I could say things better in person but no just probably a couple of things that I'd want to leave you with is just all the memories that we've shared. There's probably a list of them and I know I'll start crying you know going through them. Just there's so many anywhere from taking showers with Tom Cruise <laughs> or sitting in your lap to watch Lost or taking out to Lakeland so that we can climb over the gate and look at the flowers or, um, you know, even videotaping everything that I do whether it's in the bathroom brushing my teeth first thing in the morning with you or at night or you know, all the times that we just lay in bed and we couldn't fall asleep, so we just lay there talking to each other and just holding on. Um, all the times when I was sick for the, like, entire month or the first two weeks when we were dating. And I remember waking up one morning, and I smelled something. I didn't know what it was. And I look up, and there's John right there with, you know, a plate full of, like, French toast, which I ate half a piece, and you ate the rest of it. You know, lots of syrup on top of it, or all the times when you come up here with, you know, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and here, have a bite. <laughs> or the first time that I came over here after the team meeting that Wednesday night, and um, you made me spaghetti, and the fact that you'd never cooked before, and when I was introduced to your mom and your dad, or, you know, when you'd grab pizza out of the box when Keith would come home after work, and you'd just sit there and feed, me, <laughs> feed it to me. Or, um, you know, like our walk through the woods during Easter, or making our cake at Easter time. All the times that you'd take that spatula spreader and just point it at me, or you'd make fun of the, the way I iced the cake because it wasn't right. You know, helping me move out of my dorm and carrying me around when we went active advertising those different times. Or, you know, when you came field training with me and everyone was able to tell that we were a couple. The excitement that you had on your face when you watched me pee on the stick and find out I was pregnant, you know, before all the other tests had come back negative and you got to see the one that came out positive, which is the one that matters the most. You know, just all the different things. When we fell asleep in my dorm and Kiana got upset that one time, she's like, you have a guy in your room, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you know, just all the memories when I was sitting there trying to study and you just were so attracted at that point. Just the way that you look at me, these are the things that I see. I love it when your hair is spiky. It is, it's so amazing to me. I don't know why, it just reminds me of Tom Cruise and that's why, I guess it's kind of why I'd want a boy is because of the name Maverick. The fact that Tom Cruise on Top Gun, that's who he was, I can see you as him and just to me, you're so 
hot. I love you so much and I can't even look at anybody else because if I see any other guy, yeah, you'll you'll see me looking at other people. It's natural for me. I'm pretty sure that you look at other girls too. You probably don't think much. But when I look at other guys, I'm comparing them. I'm like, wow, you know. I can see the way they talk on the phone and then I see the way that my John talks on the phone. It's completely different. I see the way that they drive and I see the way that you drive. Like yesterday going to Olive Garden. I wasn't checking that guy out. I was watching the way he drove. I was watching the affection that you showed to me when you were driving. It's just so different. You know, just I have so many memories, even when you come to the gas station. Like last night before we went out to Olive Garden, you just decided to stop at the gas station to give me a heads up on the race. And you still made, made it home for me, but that's besides the point. Or, you know, even like all the movies that we've watched. All the times that I was scared, especially watching Disturbia in the movie theater. Oh my god, I thought I was going to throw up everywhere. It was horrible. Oh, I can't even like imagine that movie. Yeah, I just... I'm gonna miss you, baby. I couldn't see myself dating anyone else or falling in love with anyone else. And I'm so glad that I didn't have to go through all the hurt and the pain of being dumped by people or being abandoned or being hurt and neglected. Instead, I dated two people and was able to find you. <laughs> you know, the love of my life, the one that makes me laugh even when you do stupid things in the kitchen like you're dancing around or, you know, you pick me up in your funny ways or, you know, just you call me your girl to all your friends on the phone those things are what matters to me so it's gonna be an amazing summer I can't wait for it I can't wait to hear you on the phone and have you text me things like Mwah, as you give me a kiss on the phone I, I love being able to walk in and have surprises because nobody's ever done that for me like my Easter hunt with my bunny rabbit who was hiding somewhere I love my bunny though. I don't know where he went. John probably took my bunny. Better not have. Come after him with a pitchfork. Mm, take some cutco. Anyways, my bunny rabbit. And all the little notes. I still have that card that you gave me. That has all the cute stuff in it about, oh, I love you. And you can look here. And, you know, this is where you can find them. Um, where you can find your next clue. I knew first thing in the morning. I saw that one sticky note on the mirror. I couldn't see, so I was looking at it like this. I was like, oh, okay. And then I put it back up on the mirror. When I came back in the bed, I had the biggest smile on my face. I was like, yes, today's going to be exciting. And um, when, I, when I walked into the room the other time, and you had the, my bunny rabbit sitting on the bed, and you had the two roses right next to it, and the note that said, I love you, Katie, that meant so much to me, the fact that someone would just for the hell of it, decide to buy me roses. No one's ever done that for me before, and it means a lot. I love you, baby. And more than anything, the baby loves you too, and can't wait to see you. You always be in my prayers and my thoughts every day. And um, each tear that I cry isn't because I'm sad, it's joy. The fact that I found someone that I can truly say I love, and that it means something the person I can get annoyed with and, you know, yell at, but be happy with and yet still be professional in some manner. And the fact that I can cover all those aspects with you and it's not just limited to let's just have sex or let's just talk about this or that or business. And the fact that we talk about anything and everything. You know, I'm able to be so open with you about a lot of different things. I love you. Make sure to tell Denise I love her. And, um, I can't wait to be Keith's daughter-in-law. And that I'll meet Brittany, you know, hopefully before a wedding. Your Aunt Daniel's amazing. I can't imagine what Tony's like. And, um, and Tell everyone I said hi. Tell Keith and Vanessa I said hi too. And that I can't wait to see their baby. And our baby's not going to take away all their attention. She's just jealous for that. But I love everybody. I love you too. And um, I'll see you at the end of the summer on the other side of the road.